A lot of us spent our Christmas morning unwrapping presents or spending time with friends and family. But for a Price Hill family, this day that once brought enormous joy is now a reminder of what they once had. In 2012, three-year-old Jalen Hill was killed in a hit and run. No one's come forward. As Local 12's Brad Underwood reports, that's all the family wants. Outside the Hill home, the family gathers once again on Christmas for Jalen's birthday. Jalen would have turned seven years old this year. On the sidewalk, his name is spelled out, and many wear shirts and sweatshirts with his picture on them. He was just having a normal day, and he died. On March 21, 2012, Jalen was hit and killed while playing outside. The car didn't stop. It crushed my heart. If it weren't for these other kids, I don't know where I'd be today. But Jalen's mother, Janelle Hill, does have her family. They hold each other up as they continue to wait for something to change. That hurt, you know, for us all to be, you know, one city. This ain't no big city where that people don't know what's going on. It's, it's, it's sad that people live by a street code when it involves a child. That kid ain't do nothing to nobody. That's just terrible what he did to my child. I would have forgave him if he would have came forward, but now you had and like, you know, you just don't care. It's ridiculous. Jalen was hit and killed here on Fairbanks Avenue, just a few houses south of Warsaw. Cincinnati police did find the car that was used in the hit and run, but when they questioned the woman who owned the car, she said she wasn't driving and she didn't know who was behind the wheel. And nearly four years later, no one has been arrested. But I'm not going to give up until I get justice for my baby. In East Price Hill, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. And if you know something about Jalen's death, call Crime Stoppers 3523040. Your anonymous tip could get you cash and help bring a little bit of closure to Jalen's family.